Beaver Diecast back at it. Hello, everybody. We're here at the local disappointment. It is just after six o'clock. That's when they open. Got Hot Wheels yesterday. I was here three different times. They never did put them out. So we're back this morning at opening and hopefully get lucky. Stay tuned. Well, oh, looks like somebody did some maybe some pallet raiding or something. It's all knocked over. I see anything yet, so it's, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me get off of here. Check back in. Live or die cast, back at it. We're at the local disappointment. This is our 17th trip here in the last three days. They were supposed to get Hot Wheels a couple days ago. And let's go see if they put them out. And it looks like the same old same. Uh, got some stuff that's been here for months and months. This is G case. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know where the Hot Wheels are. Um, like I said, we have been here multiple, multiple times. My son did get lucky. We found a new display of the Celebrations Pokemon, so we're gonna get grab him one of those while we're here. It's not a wasted trip completely. Look at this, dude. Somebody threw some some prism cards down there on the bottom. Those go up front. I don't even know what those are doing back here. Should we pick them up and take them back there? Yeah, we can take them up front, grab them, and we'll go put them back where they go. So, yeah, still no Hot Wheels. Check this out. Isn't this true? I absolutely love my dog. That's awesome. That doesn't go in the Hot Wheels section though. But hey, you, you never know what you're gonna find at this Walmart. Oh, here's a damaged Hooters oh. car. All right, so we won't keep you long. Just wanted to touch base. Is that a Hooters gift? Uh, kind of let you know what was going on here. Still no new monster trucks. Tons and tons and tons of cars if you're into that. And Mario Kart sets if you're into those. Um, no new haulers. These are all the same exact Ooh. one. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of these. So if that's your thing, you're in business. But unfortunately, it's not ours. So we'll move on. Um, I did want to show you this cart has been sitting over here in the same spot for three days. And this is just all the old stuff it looks like that they took out of the dump bin. I don't know what the, if they're planning on hanging it up or what they're going to do with it, but they're all pretty, pretty beat up as you can tell. So they've had a tough life and haven't even made it out of the store. So we'll touch back. Here's these all these Pokemon cards. This is pretty cool. Show you all this real quick. So if you're after the celebrations tins, get your local Walmarts. This has been Live or Diecast. Until next time, I'm out. Liver Diecast, back at it. We're at the local disappointment, and it looks like some more disappointment. Um, I do, it's funny that they have this hanging here. I really don't even like this casting, but I'm gonna grab these wheels, and I'm gonna use them on a Halloween custom. I'm gonna do a Halloween special, and I'm gonna do a custom on it. Not on this car, but I'm gonna steal these wheels for the Halloween custom, so it wasn't a complete waste of time, but it's our 144th trip here. And they were supposed to have gotten some cases two or three days ago, and they're still not out. They've been putting toys out, but no Hot Wheels. So um, they still got the cart over there full of the old ones that I showed you earlier. And hopefully, soon, 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 we'll be checking back. Until next time, Liver Diecast. I'm out. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Liver Diecast. Look what we found. We came in this morning. This is our fourth day here. We've been in here like 17 or 18 different times. And it looks like we came in just on time today. This is the new holiday. Oh yes. Oh yes. I hope we get lucky, you guys. Stay tuned. And I will be back and see what we got. 
All right, so they just put this out. Looks like the new holiday stuff. I've seen that stuff at the groceries, the local grocery store. Alrighty, and I wasn't that into it. it. Looks like these top two are gonna be. I'm gonna go through these and I'll check back. Stay tuned. All right, we're back. Man, talk about timing. So we went through here. Uh, we did not find the super treasure hunt. This was in case. That was the only 49 Ford F1 we found, and it is the regular. Not too upset. We did find the regular treasure hunt, so I'm gonna grab that. Man, the timing was perfect this morning. I came in and he was unboxing that thing, and then boom, we did find the Chase ID. So it wasn't a unicorn case. I did get the Chase car and the regular treasure hunt, no super, but we are happy. My son and I are going to head out and get some breakfast, and we're going to go to the local flea market today and see what we can find there. Until next time, this has been Live or Diecast, and I'm out. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Live or Diecast. This is our haul. Thanks for sticking around. I want to show you what we picked up. So you all know as you've been watching the video, uh, the local Walmart. So I missed the other two uh, by probably a week, so I just kind of put those off my radar and focused on my local disappointment that's closest to my house. Uh, the last three days, I have been there every day, multiple times a day, and as you know, we struck out time and time again. They were putting toys out, pallets and pallets and pallets of Barbie and Legos and no Hot Wheels. Um, so I just figured I'd keep checking back, stay persistent, and our persistence paid off. Never give up the hunt. Um, if you know they're gonna get it, and it's going to be a matter of days. Stay on top of it because most of the time it will pay off. Um, I did make probably, I bet in the last three days I've been to that Walmart probably 15 times. Uh, no joke. And struck out every time. But this time was a little different as you saw in the video. We did manage to get the regular treasure hunt, the Justice League Batmobile. Pretty cool. You can see the treasure hunt symbol on the back of the card behind the car itself pretty cool we did not find a super treasure hunt but that's okay we already have an in case treasure hunt as most of you probably saw the video my son actually pulled that one out of the shipper at dollar general but we were lucky enough to find that chase id 2015 dodge charger srt and i thought that was pretty cool this is a beautiful car now most of you know i acquired this in a trade i have every single chase id car released except for that last one of 2021 it's the q case pagini and it's kind of gold as well it's a beautiful car this is an extra this will be up for trade i would like to trade it for the pagini i don't know if that's going to be possible or not but i would love to trade this away for something cool that i don't have in my collection so if anyone out there has anything cool leave a comment below we'll see if we can work out a trade and maybe get this one in your collection and get something that i'm needing in my collection I did want to go over a few things about this. The other one that I have, let me take it out. Let me take it out of this protector. These are the same cars, but I noticed, I noticed that the cards are a little different. So this is the one I already had. This is the one I picked up today. If you look right here, up here on that corner it says look what I can do this one doesn't have that kind of odd and then on this one it has the Google and Apple Play Store logos down at the bottom and this one does not it just says scan me I'm one of a kind so two same cars both on different cards. I thought that was kind of interesting uh, to say the least. So we will put these back in the protectors. You all know that I absolutely love the Sterling protectors. I like them even better than, than the ones that Hot Wheels sends with their exclusives. Um, and so I am gonna put the one that we just found in a protector as well. This one will be available for trade. If anyone's interested, please hit me up. 
uh, leave a comment on my YouTube channel. I'm on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, Instagram and TikTok are live or die cast and the number one at the very end. So sweet. I was able to get a couple of those and I'll have one available for trade. So hopefully somebody will want to trade for something cool. We got the regular treasure hunt. And then, so we picked those up. We didn't really have any hunting to do in any other retail store. So we wanted to try our local flea market that we've had some good luck at in the past. Today was not so exciting. There was a bunch of stuff that was already there. There was some new stuff, but I've noticed in the last two months, the prices at the flea market have almost doubled. So I don't know if if they see an increase in the collectors coming in with an interest in Hot Wheels and they're like, oh, okay, well, if they want the Hot Wheels, we'll double the price and make money and make them pay more. I don't know what, what the thought is on that, but a lot of that stuff, man, is covered in dust. It's been in there, been in there for, for months, if not years. So increasing the price isn't going to make the stuff fly off the shelves, in my opinion, but hey, what do I know? So I want to show you a couple cars we found at the flea market. These are not bangers, as some people would call, pack, but these are known to be fast on the track, and I have got a couple of races coming up. I'm going to send some cars to Mustang Hunter Diecast. He has the new Tower of Power drag racing over at his channel, so be sure and check that out, and also the Gauntlet at King Nut Diecast. Uh, if you have not checked out King Nut Diecast, please do. Mustang Hunter, King Nut, two of my favorites in the diecast world along with others, but they have some racing going on. Be sure and check out their channels. Send in some cars and you can compete too. Watch it on YouTube in the comfort of your own home. It's pretty fun, especially if you win and you're competitive. First up, collector number 561. This has got some weight to it. It's from the White Ice series and is the Ghostly Cool Speed Seeker. And Ghostly Cool Speed Seeker, Ghostly, that's pretty cool because Halloween's tomorrow so I didn't even notice that but it is the speed machine sitting on the saw blade three stars directionals got some weight to it uh, metal body metal base and I think it's going to do well on the track so I'm not sure which one I'm going to send it to yet but stay tuned because I will be sending those out and then next up is the 98 first edition Dodge Caravan yeah, I know. You're like, you bought a van? A Dodge Caravan? I did. I've actually raced this van at another track, a drag track, and I was on the podium for like five or six weeks consecutive, so I know this is a burner down the track. So one of those Mustang Hunter, King Nut, be on the lookout because this thing is going to fly down the track and probably take the podium with live or die cast at number one. No, I don't know, but it is fun, so... Next up, we have the Crazed Clowns Side Splitter Funny Car. This thing has got some weight to it as well. This is a 2004 release on the red five spokes on all four corners. The blacked out tinted glass, Hot Wheels flame livery on the side. Not so funny car team. And this will go in my funny car collection. I do have some funny cars. They are burners down the track, but I usually don't open mine up. I keep them carded and I'll trade with them or just keep building the collection. So I'll pick that up. All three of these were a dollar a piece at the local flea market. So not too bad. These two right here, be on the lookout. You're gonna see those. I have a feeling they're gonna, they're gonna do well wherever I send them. So be on the lookout for that. And then last but not least is the 69 Corvette 2006 First Editions. So this was released in 06 as a first edition, but you see it right there. What's that? The FTEs, baby. Faster than ever sitting on those nickel-plated axles. It's going to be a burner, but I won't open it. Uh, this will go in my, my Faster Than Ever collection. Those FTEs, you know, they stopped making those, I believe, in 2011. They don't make them anymore. And uh, this one here cost me four bucks. So the price on the FTE, FTEs is definitely, definitely going up from when I first started to get them. The racing scene got hot. And the FTEs, the prices just started skyrocketing. So, but it's a Corvette. I have a, a nice, nice, nice 
Corvette collection back here behind me. Those are all Corvettes hanging on the page. Most of them are six, seven cars deep. So I've got a good 40, 50 Corvettes and I will add this one to the collection as well. Boom, there it is. I wanna thank everybody for tuning in and watching this video. Thanks for interacting with Live or Diecast. Would not be doing this if it wasn't for all you watching and giving me the positive support and feedback. That's what keeps me going. Ladies and gentlemen, have a happy and safe Halloween. Until next time, this has been Live or Diecast. Y'all know it. I'm out. Peace.